Hi guys, it's Jenny from the Scrap FX Design Team for January 2022. Happy New Year everybody. So today I'm starting with the new release uh, Alice in Wonderland products and I'm using my Scrap FX junk journal here. This is the craft one. I've selected a few blue tones and I'm just going to paint out my background with those blue tones. So just using a nice cool blue here and or it's a sky blue I think and I'm just sort of working in little patches and then I'm going to add some darker blue so this is the china blue and just trying to blend them into each other and just creating sort of um, organic shapes across the background a little icy blue here and again just trying to blend them in and I've also got a bit of a, a turquoise colour as well. So once that's all dried off I'm going to use the spiral stencil from Scrap Effects. I thought this was a great shape for the theme of Alice in Wonderland. That whole um, curiouser and curiouser quote sort of pops into mind when I look at this stencil so I thought it was quite appropriate. So I've just sort of stenciled that across the background and now I'm using the Harlequin stamp from Scrap FX as well with just some dark blue archival. And again, I thought this was a, another pattern that was quite appropriate for Alice in Wonderland. And my old faithful, this one is circle collage circles. So I'm using the new release paper here. This is a rice paper fob watch and I've just fussy cut those watches out, the ones that I thought were appropriate, and I'm just painting the back of them with some white gesso because I don't want them to be translucent and my background's already busy so I don't want to lose those fob watches in the background. Now just using a white Posca pen here and I'm creating a border around my page. So I've got that checkered idea for a border so I'm just using the ruler to make sure I've got fairly straight lines and I'm just roughly putting in my little checks. So I'm just going to colour all those little second squares in with my white Posca pen and then I'll go back through with a black one as well. So this is a quick way of creating a border and again that black and white theme is sort of you know, ideal for Alice in Wonderland. So again, just filling in the little sections now with the black Posca pen. Just being careful not to smudge any wet areas. The Posca pens tend to dry fairly quickly. So this is a little silhouette, black silhouette of Alice. And we're all mad here teacup silhouette as well. So the stamp here is Rose Garden and I'm using some black, black ink and I'm going to stamp that onto the second page. Once that ink's dry, I'm going to glue down the teacup so it looks like the roses are growing out of the teacup. And here I decided that I needed just a little bit of white sponging underneath Alice just to draw the attention to the wording. I, I didn't want the quote in Alice to be lost so I've just put a little bit of white um, sponging there just so that she stands out a little bit better and again just using my fine glue pen here to glue her down and so now I'm just auditioning those pieces that I cut out of the rice paper and kind of decided that they were probably just a tad too big so I'm just sort of shuffling them around seeing if they will work and I do come to the conclusion that that's smaller ones the right size so I go back to my rice paper and fussy cut those out and in the meantime I'm just using Posca pens here again and I'm just filling in the roses colouring them in 
So I'm just laying down. This one's a Posca pen. It's got a bit of glitter in it. So I've just added a bit of a wet brush to it and sort of watercolored that Posca pen while it's still wet onto the page. And again, same deal here with the red. So I'm just sort of layering the colors down and then using a, not a drenching brush, but a, a fairly wet brush to spread that paint around in the actual stamped area. And as the paint dries, you can just keep adding more marker and then a little bit more of wet brush. So it works out nicely. They just sort of have a paintedly look. And it's a quick way to add a bit of colour to your page. Just using my uniball eye here and I'm just doing squiggly sort of border lines and just making that border really pop now. So I'm just sort of outlining that border with a rough squiggly line and just making sure that I also go through every segment there as well and give that a little bit of a quirky squiggly line in between the colours as well. And again, just adding a little bit of hand doodling to those roses. The Posca pen sort of gone over the black lines, so I'm just sort of making them pop out again. And of course, giving them a bit of a squiggle line as well, or a little bit of a doodly line around that stamped edge. So these are the smaller fob watches that I've cut out of that rice paper. I've also put a bit of white gesso on the back of those. And now I'm just sticking those down into place. Just using a little bit of matte medium. I really like the way that this page is going. It's quite simple, but effective, especially those silhouettes. So a little bit of a script text stamp from my collection, just in the background, just to add a little bit more interest. And I'm just doing a little bit of doodling around those Harlequin stamped images in the background, just to give it a little bit of something in the background as well. A few highlights in the roses with the white gel pen as well and in the leaves. And then I decide that I probably need them around each of the watch as well. So I've sort of done the squiggly lines around the watches as well. And then just to finish off a little bit of hand doodling again, just making some marks on the page. And then with black, some more make, mark making. And again, just running a little bit of white marker now around that border just to really make it pop. And just that squiggly line is sort of becoming a little bit of a theme throughout the page. So just needed to finish that border off with that squiggly line. Just the final details, little more squiggles around all the images just to finish it off. And that's my finished page, my little Alice in Wonderland. I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial and that you get a chance to use some of these really great products that's just been released by ScrapFX. Everyone loves Alice. So why not have a go? Until next time. Thanks for watching and please leave me a thumbs up and a comment. Bye.